I am the dish reporter, Channel Channel 88, KEY Board, your premier music history station in America. Ladies and gentlemen, our featured guest today comes from the past. He was born in 1655 and died in 1731. He made less than 25 pianos in those years, from 1700 to 1731. He taught one helper how to make pianos, and he continued that work. Craftsmen in other countries began to copy that action mechanism that he made about 1710. The first music that was specifically written for the piano was composed in 1732, a year after he died. Even though his piano could sound with contrasting dynamics, it could never play very loud. It was said that Johann Sebastian Bach played piano, not one of his, but it was said he was not impressed. Perhaps if he had played on one of the pieces, one of the pianos that this inventor created, he would have liked it better. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you You are in America. We are here for a festival to celebrate your invention. We welcome you. Let's see. Let's see. It plays with such expression. Oh, yes, yes. What do you call this? We call it a piano. A soft? Oh, well, we shortened it from piano forte. That's a nickname. This is my, like my instrument? Yes, piano 300 forte. years after you made your harpsichord that plays soft and loud, this is what it has become. Magnificent. Oh, and I want to show you something else. Play this instrument. It has a or a soundboard. Oh, a Yomama. Uh, no, a Yamaha. Oh. It is made in Japan. <laughs> see, see. You know, we still have three of your instruments that you made. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, uh, one is still here in America, in New York. And it still plays after 300 years? Well, not very well. It is in a museum. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, does anybody have questions for Mr. Cristofori? You know, a little older than the lady in the back there. He says you couldn't make, why couldn't you play your, why was that? Well, it only has very, very thin strings, and the hammers aren't big. The instrument is just not strong enough. I cannot make it out of wood and make it strong enough to project and make expression. But after 300 years, look what your instrument has become. I am 
Yes, and everything in between, soft and loud. Yes, it's magnificent. Like having your viewers, like being over the instruments. See, I make lots of instruments. I make cellos and violins, and I make what will be the piano forte, or she says my piano. <laughs> That's what I make. Yes. Is that a drum on my head? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is my action. I was taking this model to the prince when I came here. It has a hammer, just as these have hammers. This hammer is made from hard paper with deer skin covering. So it can be loud and soft. Not that loud and soft. You do? I, did I make it? It would have my name inside. <laughs> did you say you made cellos? Yes, I did. What were the strings made from at that time? Gut. Gut, okay. One more. I have a drum. You have a drum. I used to drum too. Make all kinds of sounds from different things. Good. Keep doing it. How long did it take you to make one? It takes about a year. Every part has to be made by hand. And so it takes about a year to make one. I have lots of other jobs too that I do maintaining instruments. So I can't be invented both of them. Did you come up with the idea of making a piano or a harpsichord? Well, harpsichords can only play the same sound when you play law or soft. And in my time, everyone wants to express, much like our human voice, or we can be very loud. But instruments with hammers, we, it's the only way to make very much sound. So you know, harpsichords and clavichords couldn't do it. So I had to make a new, new instrument that could project and have expression. Such wonderful questions. Yes, yeah, thank you.